Barbarians, muscle-headed, muscle-bodied, muscle-armed brutes that almost classify as orcs, or are, more often than not, indeed just orcs, half-orcs, or even worse, half-humans. Jokes aside, barbarians are in most common depiction just all muscles and no brain brutes. But in my opinion, realistic barbarians would be a lot more than just that. First and foremost, barbarians don't need to be low IQ wrecking boards. They could be strong and smart. And their simple choice of clothing, armor, and focus on strength might not be because they can't do any better but because they actively have chosen this lifestyle, perhaps for religious, practical or cultural reasons. So even a team of barbarians should be able to lay traps, ambushes, deceive and trick any enemies and of course, and it would also be very very interesting to play in social interactions. I mean, if your upper body starts at six foot something, intimidation would be very easy to pull off. And barbarians could also be great orators, motivators, you know, someone who can also fight with words, and someone who knows how to use his victories to maximum impact, to lead, to inspire, someone like Robert Baratheon for a lack of a better term. And I mean, if the god emperor of men can do it, your barbarian should at the very least be convinced that he can do the very same thing. As for weapons, given that they are unarmored most of the time, barbarians really would not use just long swords as much as we might think. They would either use pole arms, thus giving them way more reach and power behind their attacks, and most importantly keeping the enemy far far away from their own unarmed or lightly armored body, or use the combination of a one-handed weapon, perhaps something like a Roman gladius or a short spear in one hand and a great shield in the other, like many actual people living in the jungle actually did. And of course, a helmet would be worn even by barbarians, perhaps not in an unarmed ritualistic fight, but on any battlefield and on any mission, unless something like an enchantment, a certain trait, or spell would provide enough protection that they won't need to wear a helmet at all. Perhaps some of the more exposed body parts, like the lower legs or arms, would also have some rudimentary armor. And while it poses a certain risk, not only is it a money saver, but having one's own core unarmored is actually a major advantage in hot and humid climates, where it is very hard to shed heat, so barbarians would excel in these climates, but not in the way you might think. Sure, they are wearing almost nothing at all, like Ned Flanders, but their muscles are not that of a marathon runner, lean and slick. They are obviously made for short and devastating bursts of energy and power, so barbarians would really be a shock and awe force that will overwhelm almost anyone they fight against in a 1v1 battle. But here's the point, especially in rocky deserts or hot jungles, they would be able to move very quick and on a more strategic level. Because think about it, a small troop of barbarians can carry way, way, way much more in theory and will carry way, way, way less in practice than, let's for example say, an invading army. And if Conan is anything to go by, then they will also know how to feed themselves by exploiting nature's bounty, especially if this is their home turf. Which makes barbarian units the best possible shock and awe guerrilla fighters you can even imagine. In any area where there are no horses or other mounts that would grant the enemy army, or better yet their scouts at least, a speed boost in order to catch up to them at a large enough number that it would actually be a winnable fight, they would be able to rush in at night or set an ambush and basically crush anyone they fight. And after a few minutes of high intensity violence, where they bring maximum power to bear, the barbarians will begin their retreat, leaving the completely confused, shocked and hurt enemy unable to pursue in a timely manner. And even if they do, 
the few troops that are chasing after the barbarians and are lucky enough to catch up to them will turn out to be actually very very unlucky ones. And of course barbarians with their big muscular body, their every single fiber is bigger and bulky, would also excel in ranged combat, simply because the bows they can wield would be larger and have more poundage than any standard issue infantry bow. And the more mobile barbarians could then use the height to their own advantage. So they would basically be untouchable in any ranged engagement, unless, you know, siege level artillery is employed against them. Which is a hard thing to do in a medieval fantasy world. So while barbarians look like the worst nightmare in a 1v1 battle, and frankly, they are, their greatest threat would be in their ability as a raiding force in hot, humid climates. They would be devastating guerrilla fighters. And with that said, now it's your turn. What do you think about my take on barbarians? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know it down in the comment section.